to state a private cause of action for securities fraud under Section 10B of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, plaintiffs must plead six elements. First, a material misrepresentation or omission. Second, scienter. Third, the conduct occurred in connection with the purchase or sale of a security. Fourth, the plaintiff wouldn't have entered into the transaction but for the defendant's fraud, known as transaction causation or reliance. Fifth, the plaintiff suffered an economic loss. And sixth, there was a causal link between the defendant's fraud and the plaintiff's economic loss, known as loss causation. In Erica P. John Fund v. Halliburton, the United States Supreme Court considered whether plaintiffs needed to prove loss causation to obtain class certification in a private securities fraud action. Halliburton is a publicly traded energy company. In addition, the Erica P. John Fund, which we'll call the EPJ Fund, was an investor in Halliburton. In 2008, a group of investors represented by the EPJ Fund filed a class action lawsuit against Halliburton in federal district court for securities fraud. Specifically, the investors claimed that Halliburton made fraudulent representations to inflate the company's stock price. Halliburton moved to dismiss the action, which the court denied. The EPJ Fund then sought to have its proposed class certified under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, or FRCP. The court found that the EPJ Fund met all the general requirements for class certification, that is, numerosity, commonality, typicality, and adequacy of representation. However, in private securities fraud cases, circuit precedent at the time also required plaintiffs to prove loss causation to obtain class certification, which the EPJ Fund failed to do. As a result, the court didn't certify the class. The EPJ Fund appealed to the Fifth Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. 